Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing Vocations um, new beer. New? Yeah, I think it's the newest one. Uh, this is a collab with Levick and this is Stavanger. Stavanger? I think it's Stavanger. It's a, Bel it's a Belgian stout. Um, and it is 9.5%. All that is on the front. Uh, this one was donated to me by the beer dad so I don't know how much it costs but it's on the website so it'll be on there for some money um, there's guff which I'll read um, it says Stavanger or Stavanger how would you pronounce it um, we've teamed up with brewing giant Lervik to bring you um, I'm gonna call it Stavanger because I think that's how it's pronounced uh, a complex and decadent Belgian stout um, it's got aromas of coconut and vanilla from the bourbon barrel, complement um, the rich, smooth Belgian stout. All that is on the side right there. Um, this is special edition. Um, I do like the can art. It just looks like uh, either when you get a paintbrush and then you just flick the, the bristles, it looks like that, or when a camera does the the the... The, the light from a camera uh, comes through and you sort of get like a divided colour bit. It looks like that. It's, it looks nice. Um, so, it's also a vegan beer. So, there you go. Any vegans? Lovely. Um, yeah, so let's just crack it open, shall we? And see what we've got. Now, the picture, I did look on the website. The picture has it. In the glass, the gold top glass. So, try and recreate the picture. That looks really nice. So, we have got ourselves pitch black. Yeah, pitch black, jet black beer. Looks lovely. Um, very dark, tanned head. Very compact bubbles, but. It looks nice. There's loads, as you can see, loads of carb clinging to the glass. I don't want to do that too much and break the stem, but anyway. So, let's get a smell, shall we, and see what we get. Oh, do you know what this smells like? Um, when I did the Hexagon Projects by Salt, not so long, well, not so long ago, it's been a few months now, April, April it was. I did them, and they came out a while ago. Um, it reminds me of the first couple, um, the first three, one, two, and three. They were barrel aged stouts. It smells like that. I can smell the barrel, basically. Bourbon, a lot of bourbon. A bit of vanilla. A nice coconutty sweetness. It smells really sweet. I was expecting. You know, um, proper malt, dark chocolate, like I said, doesn't it? it smells really sweet. Um, let's get a mouthful of body and carb, shall we? Carbonation's really light, really fine. The body is medium. Medium full. It's got a really nice oily feel to it velvety feel it's it's really just it just smooth it's really smooth is what it is that's the word i was looking for top it up quick and then we'll get a big old taste shall we cheers You can taste the uh, the barrel. The barrel's really strong. And is it? Yeah, it's a bourbon barrel. I thought it was. It's it's a bourbon barrel. You can taste the bourbon. It's really strong. It's prominent flavour. Um, it leaves when you when you have like mint or something. You get that really breathy, cold. Well, cold breathy way. That's what it's got. It's got that that way about it. Coconut, a little bit. I'm getting the more vanilla than I am coconut, um, but there is a bit. It's 
strong in vanilla than it is the coconut. A bit of chocolate as well, just like a milky, like Cadbury's dark milk, uh, that kind of blend of both. It's quite nice. It's a very, very nice beer. 9.5, can't tell. Bourbon barrel, you, you can taste the bourbon, like I've said, um, but you can't tell strength wise what it is. Like, you, you wouldn't be able to tell it's bourbon. You can taste it, but you can't feel it. Um, there's like the slightest of booziness in the cheeks, or just like on the tongue, but it's not strong and punches you in the face and leaves you, you know, coughing and hair on the chest and all that crap that they say. That's a lovely, lovely beer. Very nice. So I'm going to go away and drink this and enjoy it because I really like this. This is another winner from Vocation, um, their new lineup. They've had a few. <laughs> that went wrong. Well, <laughs> they've had a few recently. Um, <clears throat> the Banana Imperial Stout. Was it banana? Banoffee. I think it was banana. Um, that co there's a collab. I'm just looking at my fridge. Collab with Polly's. The crunchy one. I've not had that yet. I've not got my hands on that yet. Um, new music. There's a pina colada one. Pardon me. They've also collab with salt. I've got the salt collab in the fridge, which I'll be doing very soon. Um, but yeah, this new look, this new line of vocation. Um, even though they're special editions and they're not probably going to stick around that much, they are really good. Really, really worth it. Um, the new way about what they're doing, the logoing is also really good. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to go and enjoy this. So, first of all, out of 10, I'm going to give that a 9.5 like its percentage. Only thing I'd give it for a 10 out of 10 is I'd like a thicker body, but that's me being really super picky because it's vocation and vocation are beer giants. So I'm being really, really super picky about it, but it's 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 basically a 10 out of 10. I can't argue with it. It's it's a gorgeous beer. Um, so <laughs> if you have had vocation and Lervig's Stavanger, or Stavanger. I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce Stavanger, Stavanger. Anyway, if you've had this, please let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it, if you don't. Um, if you've not had it, I'll leave Vocation's website down below, where you can maybe, possibly, still pick one up. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I've not, I've not checked lately. Um, if you like the video, though, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc., etc., so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.